Hello everyone, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com, the US Tech Channel. Today I'm looking at the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 for AT&T Wireless. Uh, one of the things people like about uh, AT&T, Verizon, some of the major carriers is that they have uh, visual voicemail. Visual voicemail, of course, makes it easier to check your voicemails versus calling a number service, listening to whole phone calls and repeating phone calls. Uh, one of the things a lot of people don't like is the messages um, application that AT&T comes with. Uh, now, basically, it tries to put all your call logs, all your texts and uh, voicemails in one place. You can disable the notification for the uh, text messages and other stuff, but sometimes it kind of wants to override the stock messaging uh, program. Uh, some people like to keep it that way for a variety of reasons to include the add-on Samsung um, devices. Sometimes they need use of the stock uh, application. So I like the standalone visual voicemail application which can be found in the Play Store. Let's search for AT and T visual. Should come up. And here it is, AT&T Visual Voicemail. You can see we already have AT&T Messages installed. We're going to go ahead and install this from the Google Play Store. And click Open. And we'll go through the account setup. Let it call the voicemail. Alright, that took a little longer than I expected. I actually redid my Visual Voicemail on the LG Optimus G Pro. Uh, before the Note 3 was even able to confirm the uh, visual voicemail setup. Let's go back into the application. Um, go next. Uh, we'll change our personal greeting. A lot of these things can be done in-app, which is nice. And in general, it looks like the visual voicemail service might be going a little slow. Let's see if we can back out of this. We'll just hit finish. It says, welcome to visual voicemail. Enter your voicemail password. Go ahead and do that. Here's a sample. Provides an email-like and fact security review and listen to your voicemail messages in any order. Of course that is nice about visual voicemail. You can go to any portion of the voicemail, play it, uh, go back to other sections, etc. Um, one more thing that you might have to do if you've already played with AT&T messages, uh, set that up. I have to go back to here because I actually disabled it. I can enable it from the Play Store really easily versus actually finding the location of it. We'll see messages right here. Click hold, click disable app. We'll give you a notification that it can be turned on in settings and then application manager. Finally got one of my messages in. Let's go to the visual voicemail. And because I already have her stored as a contact, it doesn't display her number, it just displays the contact information right there. So now we have use of the standalone AT&T visual voicemail application instead of using AT&T messages. For more information on stuff like this, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's only through viewers like you I'm able to purchase these devices and do these videos. So I thank you a lot.